There's nothing like a bit of pig's urine to really remind you you're working in Hollywood. <laughs> Gotta love a stunt, man. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, I kept thinking, I was kind of down there, kind of thinking, Viles disease, Viles disease, bring it on. And that was my very first shot on part two. I managed to instigate a bar fight that involves, I think at its peak, there were probably 150 people beating the crap out of each other, and me and Kira in the middle of it. Kira doing more fighting, I'm doing more drinking in the middle of the fight. I do a little bit of fighting, but it's kind of drunken fighting. Jack is one of our favorites and really fun to work with. He worked very hard, and he had a real knack for coloring his character, for really bringing the character of Norrington to this. And, and Norrington's character probably changed more dramatically than any character in the, in the previous film. My story. It's exactly the same as your story, only one chapter behind. I'm guessing that he saw that as a big responsibility. You know, we were very cognizant of the fact that he needed to bring this new character to the action portions of the scene. Who wants it? You form an ordinary line, I'll have you all one by one. Oh, how embarrassing. There's stuntmen doing things I should be doing right behind my shoulder. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, I'm sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> um... My better half. Ladies and gentlemen, just behind my right shoulder. Um, so actually, be before your next thing, yeah, while you're holding the sword right. like an idiot. <laughs> I do a lot of that. With me, Mark, here for a second. Here, prepare this yeah. really big because he's taking that back, uh, and then you're getting ready to jump and do another and do it. thrust. Right. And give it a breath. You don't pet. really have to be exact. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> me and Brad. He's a hero. He's a hero. They're going to have action figures for him on this one. I know it. Um, he, you know, he's, he's, he's involved in every major fight. And uh, thank goodness, because I get to help him do it. Jack has just arrived on location, and we're just we're doing sort of a refresher walkthrough type of rehearsal just to get what we already know uh, reacclimated in our heads. It's like anything else. It's the more you do it. It's like learning lines. It's about repetition and then finding the character within within that mechanical rehearsal. That's what it's all about. Really good. Yeah. Okay. They learn a lot of the fight, whether they actually end up doing it or all of it or some of it or more than they thought is a different story. But we teach them a good amount of it. We try to mold to as close to them as we can, and we try to get them to do what we're doing as much as possible. It's kind of like a marriage you meet halfway. <laughs> it's interesting is that, you know, that the huge difference between what constitutes a paragraph on a page and then you find yourself where you are to kind of fulfill this. This is the most physically demanding section of any job I've ever done. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not built for this. I'm built for, like, saying things and not bumping into furniture. You know, that's kind of what I do. So, hence the guy behind me. Um, but I do a lot of my own stunts um, at home. Do you remember the bind that we did? Where, he uh, in the sandbox. Where he comes in, no, this is here, where it comes into this. Yeah. He, then he brings it up to you. Uh, you catch it, because yeah. you don't want to get sl sliced on the face. You bring it back to him, and yeah. then he grabs it. Now, we both have two hands. You grab for the key that's dangling here. Oh he rips away, and you almost fall off the side. I don't remember. I don't remember that. <laughs> Obviously, what you have to do when you shoot these things is you have something that's a lot wider and generally will involve the stunt guys because there's no way we're going to be able to do it better than them. I mean, these are world-class athletes, incredible performers who have been rehearsing this for months and months on end. And, you know, their job is to make us look better, you know? I mean, it, and they do, you know? It's, so why wouldn't you want them to do it? Hi, guys. <laughs> Nurse? <laughs> the stage direction in an earlier draft of the script, it just, I said something like, Jack looks at Will, Will looks at Norrington, Norrington looks at Jack, and it just says something like, this. It's like the final scene of the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then it just says, and so begins the biggest, most kick-ass sword fight in the history of films. <laughs> and I thought, great, I'm in. <laughs> uh, I'm fighting and I'm meant to be drunk. How good is that?